hi guys welcome back to my channel take it by force prayer movement with prophetess nina ear well it's just me today <laughs> i will definitely have a special guest on um the channel um maybe next week but for now it is just me <laughs> okay so um the last time we chatted about i remember we're still in the season of um uh fighting fighting a good waging a good warfare and if you haven't seen um uh, episode one i advise you to see it if you haven't seen episode two i advise you to see it i believe this is the final episode of this season because um we've started a new season for june and i want to share from that uh, which i will share with you in the next video so this will end basically i must wage a good warfare series okay so this one is uh, are you anointed for battle and um i want to share are you anointed for battle with you because uh, i found this scripture in the word and this is from first samuel 16 13 and it says samuel uh, poured the oil on david's head while his brothers watched at that moment the spirit of the lord took control of david and stayed with him from then on now forget about the other part of the scripture but focus on this aspect of it where it says the spirit of the lord took control of david the spirit of the lord took control of david that means the spirit of the lord david uh, the spirit of the lord took control Div um, but also what i'm saying is that david must have allowed that to happen as well so david was in full obedience to allowing the lord the spirit of the lord to take control full control you know how there's a sound that said withholding nothing uh we say lord i give you my all lord i withhold nothing from you well the spirit of the lord took full control of him and he withheld nothing from the lord he gave the lord everything his good his bad his indifferent and bear in mind when when he was anointed i mean the lord didn't take into consideration oh he was going to have that relationship with Bathsheba. none of that the lord anointed david for battle knowing that david because remember the lord anoints us knowing our ends and outs and from the beginning to the end it is not about who we were who we are who we're going to be the lord knows all of that already so a lot of times we are fighting a warfare and we're thinking we're not equipped we're not anointed we don't we're not um adequate enough for it we don't have the the resources we don't have the intelligence the intellect we don't have the wisdom we don't have all of these things we, we say we don't have all these earthly possessions we don't have all these things that we give all these things to we're insecure we feel with fear and you know we come up with all these excuses but you gotta remember that david when he was anointed he was a shepherd's boy he was uh, in the back caring for the flock and so um, Samuel anointed him when he was the shepherd's boy. So it doesn't matter your situation, your location. It doesn't matter about your bank account. It's just that Gideon said, are you sure? Are you sure? When the angels put me, he said, are you sure me? You know, I can do this work. I mean, I'm just little old Gideon, the least of my clan and the least of my flock and the least of my family. Sorry. I mean, he was the least in his neighborhood, the community, the, the, the nation. <laughs> That's pretty much what he was saying. So we always come up with these excuses about why we can't do what God has anointed us for. So, um, and in every level you grow, um, God will always equip you and anoint you for what you need to do. Because remember, there's anointing um, to live. We have a natural anointing us just to live life. But then we are anointed for battle. We are anointed for our seasons. We are anointed for various things because the, whatever your mantle is, you, that anointing is what you use to navigate life basically and all God is doing is anointing and increasing that anointing as you grow, as you seek, as you yield, as you become obedient, as you become more faithful, as you just give him your all. He anoints you and anoints you and that's how you increase in anointing. One show to increase in anointing is by uh, uh, fixing your character, working on your character, you know, developing good godly character because that's one sure way for God to increase the anointing on your life because that will definitely allow you to fight your battles when the devil comes at you and you will win them all. All you will win them all, amen. So let's just give the Lord praise. 
Um, hallelujah father give you praise and thanks for this moment I thank you oh God for the ability to sit here I thank you oh God for everything that you're doing in my life and for the lives of the people that's watching oh God and for those that are sharing the video father I thank you for those people as well in the name of Jesus father I thank you that this video is going to reach beyond where I'm able to reach at this given time and father I just ask you to breathe on it in the name of Jesus that it will go to the places that you desire it to go in the mighty awesome name of Jesus and I give you all the honor and all the praise because it's with you I breathe and have my being oh God in the mighty awesome name of Jesus and I just thank you thank you thank you hallelujah come on somebody just say thank you Lord for what you're doing in my life and for what you are about to do so I'm gonna go through the prayer points and just pray accordingly but you repeat them with me and you pray them even after the video is stopped you can replay you can press play again and continue on and pray as fervently and pray as often as possible amen and remember we're talking about um, are you anointed for battle so I want you to say anoint me Lord for this battle anoint me for this season that I'm in anoint me for this time that I'm in in the name of Jesus so Lord anoint me with strategy in the name of Jesus anoint me in the name of Jesus for my situations Lord turn my situations around in Jesus name Lord anoint me for my afflictions Lord anoint me for hard times when the enemy is bring and throw me under in the name of Jesus or attempt to throw me under in the name of Jesus anoint me for those hard times anoint me for those afflictions in the name of Jesus so Lord anoint me for the wind of thrust in the name of Jesus and that's the wind that will propel you into your greatness propel you into your next season propel you high above what the devil is planning in the name of Jesus because you got to remember as you're propelled he gets under your feet that's the word of the Lord says that he will make, put our enemies under our feet because if you are seated in Christ Jesus in heavenly places then that's where your enemies are under your feet but you've got to see and believe that by faith in the name of Jesus and operate and fight with it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus so Lord anoint me for my times and seasons Lord anoint me with ability required for my battles oh shia kariyama sata so Lord anoint me in the name of Jesus oh shantayerebe soto with the ability that's required for my battles for my times for my season in the name of Jesus oh rama soto yoroma sata so Lord consecrate Consecrate me to serve my gift in the name of Jesus. Consecrate me for my business. Consecrate me for my marriage. Consecrate me for my education. Consecrate me, oh God, for my next level. Consecrate me for leadership. Consecrate me, oh Lord, to receive your wisdom. Consecrate me, oh Ramasha, to the use of God. Ramia. So consecrate me. So that I will fulfill my agenda, my divine assignment in the name of Jesus. Jesus, consecrate me that I hear you. Consecrate me that when I speak, things will move, things will shift, and things will be. Ah, Sharomo Soto, in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouths and speak these words. So, Lord, consecrate me. Consecrate my head. Consecrate my mind, my body, my soul. Consecrate me, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that I will be able to do your will for my life. Ah, Ramasiato. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Riyama Satayaraba. I say, Lord anoint me for my personal life oh hallelujah a lot of times we don't realize that there's anointing for personal living an anointing just to be an anointing just to wake up in the morning and breathe Ah, so when you recognize that there's an anointing just to be and you won't wake up feeling so frustrated and tormented by the battles of life or for what life throws at you but you will wake up and breathe that fresh air know that this is the air that God has given to us in the name of Jesus and you would wake up knowing that I'm alive today I'm alive in this moment so I'm alive to do new things I'm alive to move I'm alive to change I'm alive to be I'm alive to handle any situation that comes my way in Jesus name so Lord anoint my personal life you'll be anointed for your marriage anointed to deal with your children anointed to be a mother anointed to be a wife anointed to be a friend sometimes we need that anointed to be all those 
those things. Ashi Aromo say, come on, speak the language. I can tie it in a CRT. I Karomo say, Lord, anoint my personal life. Some of you need to be anointed in the kitchen. Yes, you heard right. You need to be anointed to cook. You need to be anointed to bake. You need to be anointed to clean. You need to be anointed to do, to do your jobs. You need to be anointed in your career. So, Lord, anoint my personal life to be in the name of Jesus. Some of you need to be anointed that when you go and people frustrate and torment you, uh, you will be anointed to stay in godly language. And when they say that, just say in your heart, bless them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. For they know not what they have done. When people come up against you, you don't backbite and try to throw them under the bus. You say, Lord, they know not what they have done. In the name of Jesus, and begin to speak against that demon that's operating behind them. In the name of Jesus, don't be a weapon against yourselves. So, Lord, anoint my personal life in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, anoint me to preserve what's in my womb. So, Lord, anoint me to preserve destiny because it's destiny that's in your womb. So, Lord, anoint my womb because I know that I'm carrying the divine, I'm carrying something. Something, oh God, that you've put in here from the beginning of time, oh Shata. And when you sent me to this earth, oh God, you put that in there, oh Lord, and you sent it for a time and a season. You sent me, Lord, to fulfill destiny, to advance the kingdom in whatever gift is you have given to me. So, Lord, anoint my womb to carry it to full term in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, anoint my womb, anoint this baby, anoint it, ah, satire that. I will carry it, that I will nourish it with all the ingredients, all the spiritual ingredients, the spiritual vitamins, the spiritual supplements that's needed to grow and come and carry it, Lord, to full term in the name of Jesus. That I will not miscarry destiny. Ah, shiata, i kurama, come on, somebody, pray. In the name of Jesus, that I will not miscarry. Oh, Rama Soto, that I will not, according to my ignorance, miscarry what I'm carrying. Oh, Shiata, there's somebody that's waiting for you to rise up. There's somebody that's waiting for you to open your mouth and declare a thing. There's somebody that's waiting for your giftings. There's somebody that's waiting for what you're carrying. There's somebody waiting for you to give birth, to come to full term. Ah, Rama Soto, ko. Sata. So, Lord, anoint my womb. So, Lord, anoint my baby. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Lord, preserve me from spiritual warfare in the womb of the Spirit. Ah, come on. You better repeat that because I know I need that as well. Hallelujah. So, Lord, anoint me to anoint me in the name of Jesus to, uh, to preserve my so Lord preserve me from spiritual warfare in the womb. Ah, Sata. That's warfare that's coming against your baby. That's warfare that coming against your destiny. That's warfare that coming against what you're carrying. The divine. That's warfare that coming against that thing that's inside of you that God has placed there for a time and a season. Ah, Shata. You got to recognize that it's not about you but it's about somebody else. Just like somebody's gift is to serve you but then you are carrying the divine that's to serve somebody and they are waiting on you to rise they are waiting on you to speak they are waiting on you to grow they are waiting on you to develop they are waiting on you to become they are waiting on you for for you to recognize that you've been called they are waiting on you for you to recognize that the wisdom and the joy and the peace of the Lord belongs to you they are waiting on you to recognize that what kingdom what the heavens has in store it is for you they are waiting on you to recognize that you have have a kingdom possessions to possess they're waiting on you to recognize that you can just call things into being in the name of Jesus once you recognize who you are in Christ Jesus somebody's waiting on you to speak to the seas somebody's waiting on you to speak to the heavens somebody's waiting on you to speak to this earth somebody's waiting on you to turn left and right and south and east and north and speak a thing that it be established in this earth in the name of Jesus 
Jesus. So man, rise up. Woman, rise up. Rise up. Speak to yourself. Speak to that gift that's inside of you in seed form. Wherever it is, whatever trimester it is in, speak to it in the name of Jesus. And Akashi Kurabasa and Activate by faith something in you in the name of Jesus. Let there be a turnaround in your life where you see that your life is going down and you're having a downward spiral. Think about the things that you're speaking. Think about the things that you're thinking. And turn around and walk in faith. And by faith you move in the name of Jesus. You are on that word you gotta know that when you said lord i accepted you as my lord and savior you did that by faith you did it by faith when you said lord cleanse me and forgive my sins you did that by faith and the fact that you knew from the time you said it that you receive a new recreated spirit then you must know that you did it by faith the fact that you calling yourself a christian the fact that you're saying i am of god then you knew that you received that by faith is the same faith that will take you to pray these prayer points is the same faith that will take you to acknowledge what God has put inside of you in the name of Jesus is the same faith that will take you to say Lord in the name of Jesus I am speaking this thing into being Lord you have given me this gift Lord I need you to help me I need you to mold me I need you to reconstruct me I need you to refresh me when I'm feeling tired I need fresh strength I need fresh energy I need new joy I need you anointed. It is the same faith that you used. Hallelujah. So do not abort what God has placed inside of you by your negative words. Be a person that's self-controlled and not emotional in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Begin to pray. I believe I'm going to repeat that again. Say, preserve me, O God, from spiritual warfare in the womb of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, preserve my womb. Preserve it, O Lord, from spiritual warfare. Come on, pray, pray, pray with me. Say, preserve it. Preserve my womb. Preserve my baby. Preserve my baby. Preserve my baby oh lord asata let me not abort it asato kura let me hasaka not miscarry oh lord amasa because of my ignorance and my not willingness to yield to your word and my unwillingness to yield to you oh god and my unwillingness to yield to my leaders and my unwillingness to yield to wisdom and my unwillingness oh kata and my disobedience oh lord and my rebellion oh lord amasa in kura masoto in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody, make a fresh commitment today and say, Lord, I commit myself to these prayer points. I commit myself to do as the prophetess is saying today because I believe in my heart this is the word of the Lord and it is speaking to my heart. It is speaking to my spirit and I need to move and do as she's saying today because I know that I need that somebody is waiting on me. I know that I need to give my gift. I know that I need to serve my gift. You gotta remember that Jesus came to serve. Jesus came to serve and he did that indeed. And we indeed are supposed to do what? Do as Jesus did an even greater. Hallelujah. That's combined. That's the body of Christ combined. We are anointed for this. We are anointed for this. It's why we have to be in unity to fulfill this agenda. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Come on, I just have a few more prayer points. Somebody say with me, anoint me to birth every divine idea in the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, anoint me to birth every divine idea that you've downloaded in me. Ah, Satayaraba Soto. So, therefore, oh God, I come into alignment with your word and I will renew my mind by your word. Ah, Ma Soto. I will renew my mind and every thought that the enemy has placed in my mind that I know that is not of you. I reject it now in the name of Jesus. Get out my mind. Six, get out my mind. Say, so leave my mind in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, wash my mind, refresh my mind, rejuvenate my mind. 
now oh God now oh God in the name of Jesus that I will think like you oh God I will create like you oh God come on somebody I will create oh God and I'll be and do the things that you want me to do oh God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord I know that you will not bless on productive hands Lord bless my hands Lord you will not just drop money from the sky but you will give a divine idea oh God that I will create in the name of Jesus Lord I need my mind to be free come on somebody so Lord sanctify my mind hmm in the name of Jesus yes that's it that's the anointing so Lord sanctify my mind ah Korea so Lord, ah, so Lord, sanctify my mind. Some of you, your mind is filled with so many thoughts that is not of God, and that's why you cannot produce things, and that's why your mind cannot hold on to the divine that God has placed in you, that He has downloaded into your mind. Come on, right now, it will happen for you. It will happen for you. It will happen for you in the name of Jesus. So Lord, cleanse my mind, sanctify my mind, anoint my mind for the great things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Just like when you put too much on your computer, on the drive and it becomes jam and you have to literally turn off and reboot. So Lord, reboot to my mind. Reboot to my mind. Reboot to my mind in the name of Jesus. Come on, the final couple of um, prayer points. So Lord, anoint me to receive your glory, your power, and your anointed. So Lord, anoint me. Anoint me, oh God, to receive your power, to receive your glory, to receive your anointing for my battles, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, 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 anoint anoint us lord anoint us lord come on say lord anoint me god anoint me lord anoint me oh god anoint me for your power your glory anoint me for this battle anoint me for this season anoint me for this time lord i do not understand what's happening in my life lord anoint me to think clearly anoint me oh near romati and don't know what's happening in my family i don't know what's happening in my ministry i don't know what's happening in my government i don't know what's happening in my nation i don't know what's happening my city lord anoint me oh masata lord what if i'm carrying a solution that my nation needs but i'm not arising to the occasion lord anoint me lord open my eyes to see lord open my ears to hear oh lord 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 do it for me now oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah and finally 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 hallelujah I believe somebody's receiving from these prayer points even now in the name of Jesus hallelujah so Lord anoint me for divine connections hallelujah some of you need this some of you, you need this. You're not meeting the right people. Why? You got to say, Lord, anoint me to meet the right people people anoint me for divine connections where you don't have divine connections you keep and the enemy keep leading you to all the wrong people then you will be led away from the divine you will be led away from the things that God has set aside for each season of your life until you come into the fullness of what God is doing to you until you receive this word inside your spirit some of you know that you've heard this before until you receive this and walk in it walk in it think in it be in it activate it in your life now in the mighty name of Jesus so Lord anoint me for divine connections hallelujah oh shanta ye rebe soto so korobo soto e kanta ya soto e kashanto yorobo soto anoint me oh God anoint me connect me to those people who God oh God who will celebrate me oh God will celebrate the gift in me oh God will celebrate oh kasi korama sate will celebrate 
celebrate my anointing. We celebrate my difference. We celebrate what I bring to the table. We celebrate my leadership. We celebrate my thinking abilities. We celebrate my creativity. We celebrate what you've placed inside of me. We celebrate the placement that you've given me. Oh, Masaya, Asaya. We celebrate the ministry in me. Asaya, Rama, Iyanka, Yarabi, Yato, Kanya, Rami, Aso, Ki, Kanto, Yesiaka. Some of you are not being celebrated for who you are, for what you bring to the table. In the name of Jesus, let today be a change. Let today be the change that you need. But if you don't even accept who you are, if you don't even accept your design, how can someone else celebrate what you do not even accept? you got to walk in it in confidence. It took me, and this is the end of it, it took me a while to be confident in what God has place in my life the gift that's inside it took me a while to be confident it took me a while to really love my design and that's physically and spiritually because you gotta love all of you whatever god however god has designed you spiritually and naturally when i say natural i'm referring to your body it took me a while to learn to love all of me hallelujah and that's how the devil used to really get at me maybe i was so insecure i felt inadequate i felt that i had nothing to offer anybody i felt that i was ugly i felt i mean and that was me hallelujah i mean yes it has a great deal to sometimes how you grow up even there's no one in your homes telling you that you're beautiful and affirming you sometimes you think you are not these things hallelujah but when I learned the word of God that said that he made me beautiful and I'm his gem and I'm his beloved and I'm a jewel oh and I'm more precious than every precious jewel there is then there was nobody I said there was nobody that can take that word out of me to let me know that would defy the word of God inside of me and find a word that the Lord breathed on that I can see it clearly from his word that said that I am his gem I am his beloved oh and he called me blessed oh masata and how he has made me wonderfully oh mashakata kanakasa can somebody give the Lord praise for how you're designed can you just thank him in this moment for how you're designed can you be grateful that how he made you we are all designed uniquely and beautiful Beautifully. I don't care what you say that you've got a high forehead. I don't care if you say that you've got a square body I don't care if you're saying to me that you've got square shoulders I've got broad shoulders and I love them every part of how he's designed me. I love it I love it. I love it because if I don't love it I'm going against the Lord who created and designed me and I'm going against what I'm supposed to do However, you're designed however you're created it is for a reason it is for a purpose Don't let anybody Body tell you different hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus and that's it for today guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here with me for supporting this channel I love you guys so 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 much thank you thank you thank you and for those of you that's new to the channel I see you thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you thank you thank you and if this channel is a blessing to you, please share it with your friends and your family and your ministries. Also, uh, like, share, and subscribe if you've not subscribed already. And to my very own marketing manager, I call her my marketing manager because she is like, she shares the videos religiously like as soon as her notification bell and therefore if you have if you want to receive these videos without having to always constantly go into your computer and check to see if there's a video out there's a little bell on the right you and it says notification i believe <laughs> and you just click on the bell and every time there's a new video it will just pop right and say click or ding click a bell will go click a bell will go ding <laughs> so it will go ding and you will be able to receive my videos, every new video. Thank you so much. And if you have not watched a lot of the other videos, there's so many great other videos there as well. Please do watch them and share them with somebody. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. It is a pleasure to be here with you all the time. Seriously, I look forward to sharing with you. Your blessing to my heart for all those who made all those wonderful comments. I love you. I love you guys so much. Be blessed and have a great week a great day and a great fantastic life because now you have the anointing you you now know that you have that anointing to be just to be amen bye